Hello friends and welcome to a new happy learning video. Today we are going to learn about the animal food chain, also known as the trophic pyramid. Every living thing needs energy in order to live. And this energy is found in the food they eat. Living creatures are situated on various levels of the food chain, depending on what they eat. Fruit and vegetables are at the bottom of the trophic pyramid. These are called primary producers, as they can make their own food. They do this through a process called photosynthesis, which is a combination of the sun's energy with both water and nutrients obtained from the soil. On the pyramid's second level are the consumers. The consumers are all living things which feed on other living things. They are divided into three groups. The first is dedicated to the primary consumers. These are the herbivores, which are animals that eat directly from the producers like these zebras or these cows. The secondary consumers are animals which feed on other animals. They are carnivorous and they eat meat, such as these wolves, this eagle or this shark. Omnivores are also secondary consumers. Do you remember what they are? They are animals which eat both meat and plants like these pigs, these bears, or even us, human beings. The last of the consumer groups is that of the tertiary consumers. In this group, we find the scavengers, like vultures which feed on dead animals, which are in a state of decomposition. Yuck, that is really disgusting, don't you think? After the consumers, the third level in the food chain is dedicated to decomposers. The decomposers are bacteria and mushrooms which are in charge of consuming animal remains. The functions of the decomposers is really important as they turn organic waste into inorganic material, creating new energy in the form of nutrient-rich soil. This then completes the cycle of life as the producers in the pyramid's first level benefit from it, and so the whole new food chain starts. The truth is, nature is very intelligent, and therefore we must protect it, as well as respect it tremendously, including all its inhabitants, for as you have just witnessed, all of them, no matter how insignificant they may seem, are fundamental for life's balance, a marvelous life. <laughs> so now you know. Goodbye, friends. Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel.